This is Dr. Daniel Paul with Easy Orthopedics, and today I'm going to talk about how you can tell the difference between a bone bruise and a fracture. So, a fracture of a bone or a break, they're the same thing, is when a bone breaks through and through. Um, not really any more complicated than that. A bone bruise is when there's damage to a bone, it gets inflamed, but there's no break. So, if you're watching this video, you're probably hurting somewhere, so hopefully you get that taken care of and feel better. Um, but let's go into it. So if you have a bad fracture, you will know it. If you break your forearm, your, your, your thigh, your leg, usually there's some sort of deformity, excruciating pain like you can't even imagine and you can't even walk. So if you have that, most people who get that, they know something's really wrong and they go to the ER where it's diagnosed. So that's probably not your situation. Usually if there's a question of whether it's a bone bruise or a fracture, it's a more subtle injury. So how do you tell the difference? Well, the first step would be to get an x-ray. Fractures show up on x-ray, bone bruises don't. So if you get a, and most of the time when people walk around with fractures that are actually, uh, uh, sorry, walk around with fractures when they don't know, it's usually in the fingers or toes. So that's a really common place where someone will be hurt and you get an x-ray of their toe and it turns out they broke it like a week ago. So that'll be an easy way to tell. Um, but there are sometimes like, let's say stretch fractures or fractures that are really well aligned, you can't see them on x-ray, but they hurt really bad. So to get finer detail of the bone, you can do a CT scan. Not always indicated, but that's the way to tell. And that'll show really tiny, fine cuts of the bone, and that'll show whether there actually is a, crack, uh, a fracture. Um, but it's a lot of radiation, and you got to make sure you do it for the right reasons. It's not something that you should just want to get at the drop of the hat. So yeah, a fracture will show up on a CT scan almost all the time, and a bone bruise won't. A bone bruise, however, will show up on an MRI. And what you see on the MRI is just inc increased signal showing that the bone was injured and there's inflammation. Um, but again, not something you wouldn't want to be getting MRIs of bones, you know, just all willy-nilly, but that's what you'd see. So the first step is to get a diagnosis to determine whether you broke it or whether you have a bone bruise. Most bone bruises, you can kind of do activities as tolerated. Your bone's still intact. You can ice it elevate it, take it easy until it goes away, and you know, bone can take a while to heal, so you're looking at a few months sometimes. But that's a treatment for a bone bruise. For a fracture, it just depends on where it is. You know, obviously if it's a fracture of your thigh or your shin, a very high probability you're getting surgery. You know, with toes or other sorts of things, sometimes you can get away with a splint or a cast, or even sometimes in your fingers you can get away with buddy taping it. But the treatment's totally different. In fractures, again, you're looking at a few months to heal. So, if you've got pain, really bad in your hand or foot or somewhere and you're concerned, you know, go see your doctor, get an x-ray, see what you see. And that would be the first step. Um, so I hope that was helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and uh, take care and I hope you get that figured out.